guys in this video i'm going to show you how i made my sprout cake my brussels sprouts cake so this was a facebook live that i did earlier in the week and we've done a quick shortened version of sped up the video for this for you so i start with a six inch cake so keeping them fairly small because guys i generally am the one that eats these cakes in the videos so i don't don't want to go too big <laughs> otherwise i've got too much cake to eat it's just two cakes sandwiched together with some buttercream the random colour is that I made this colour for a video the other day and I had plenty left over so I thought I might as well use it. I'm trimming off the top edge, top corner so that I round off the cake a bit more. Now if you guys have got a spherical cake drum you can use that instead. I'm just making sure I've got plenty of space to put some little legs under my Brussels sprout as well later. Um, cover the whole thing in buttercream or you can use chocolate ganache if you prefer, whichever works best for you. I, I can work with either. Once I've covered it, I'm just using a flexible smoother to smooth off the surface and make it a little bit rounder looking. So we've got some pale green fondant here. Now I'm using the stuff that's pre-coloured because I'm a bit lazy. It makes my life a bit easier to buy it ready coloured. Don't forget, I'm going to put links like usual below the video. So if you want to see what I'm using throughout, there are links below. Now guys, I do have an online shop, so I now sell a lot of the products. So most of them will be links to my actual uh, website where you can purchase what, what I've used if you wish to. So Brussels sprouts, I've got like lots of little leaves on them. So I'm just putting in some lines so it looks like it's got those leaves on. So I'm having it so they kind of all go up towards the top, those leaves, it's not too many lines. I'm using like a fairly bright green edible dust. So they are edible powders that we're using on this. Again, I'll put links to the exact colors that I use below the video so you guys can use the same ones if you wish to. We're catching the edge of sort of those lines that we've done, keeping it dark on the edge and then dra again, it, dragging it down even so that it's a little bit lighter as we come further down. Now, when I was doing this as a live, a lot of people were like, mm, why a Brussels sprout? What's a Brussels sprout? I think, although some people said it's not just an English thing, but I know that it's very typically like something that people in the UK eat at Christmas. And a lot of people don't even like sprouts, but it's still something that, that's associated with Christmas dinners. So that's, that's why a Brussels sprout. For this cake so we've got two eye sockets that i've just pressed in lightly with the boiling tool and then we're going to fill them with white fondant you could change the size of the eyes on yours if you want you could go bigger and smaller it really is up to you with what you like the look of the best and the small one you can see in the corner is actually a cupcake that i made earlier so that this cake had matching cupcakes I'm just going to put in a little smile so a curved line and then a bigger curved line just below it and we're going to push the fondant down a little bit to create a bit of a dip and then we're going to fill that space with black fondant so I kind of squeeze it to roughly this right shape and cut off the top edge. It's better if it's a little bit too small because you can squeeze it out to fill the edges. Whereas if you go too big, it, it's hard to get it in. It's a tiny oval of pink that we're just going to push in near the bottom of the mouth for the, uh, for the tongue. It's quite pale pink that. I'm going to give it some pink blusher because everything that I make generally has pink blusher. So it is edible powder. Please don't use your actual blusher. Edible pink powder on this one. So I'm using a circle cutter to cut out a bit more black fondant for the pupils in the eyes. Let's have them looking upwards. And then I want a tiny dot of white in each eye so it looks like there's a bit of a, a reflection of light in the eye. Just brings them to life a little bit more. And the tiny balls I'm actually using, can you see the sugar pearls that I've got on the side? I thought I'll use the white sugar pearls just because it's very difficult for me to roll white so tiny. But also um, you could paint them on in white food coloring if you prefer. So a bit more black fondant. Now the fondant's very soft, so if you want to swap to a modeling paste instead, you can do. I've rolled it to a point, and we're cutting off sort of the points, and we're going to use these for little eyelashes. I'm just going to put two on each eye. Fairly big eyelashes, though. <laughs> and then maybe a, a little party hat, a little Christmas hat. So let's cut a strip. Now I'm using fondant. You might find it's a little bit soft for the party hat, so it might droop a bit. So you can add a bit of CMC or Tylos to it to firm it up. And I'm cutting triangles out now. I don't know if you can see along the bottom, I've marked every two centimeters to just help me with spacing of my triangles. Despite the fact that I measure it, it still never works out quite right. <laughs> so I'm adding water where I want to add the party hat to. Can you see it wants to flop a little bit? So I should have really added Tylos. You can also use modeling paste if you prefer. So just while it's still a bit soft, I'm gonna put a piece of kitchen roll under there just to hold it in place. It'll start to firm up just while I'm working on the other bits of the cake as well. So we can remove that kitchen roll later. I've kept, can you see a couple of the triangle offcuts? Cut off the very point of them. I'm covering them in water or you can use edible glue. 
and I'm dipping them into some red edible glitter. So we're doing a bow tie. I should have probably done a different colour to the party hats. There wasn't too much red on there, but it's fine. We want a small piece for the middle, covering it in that edible glitter. Now, ideally, you want to let them dry a bit because the, the glitter is going to go all over your hands while they're a bit wet. But I didn't have time, so we're just going to stick it straight on. Like so. And then I want to show you some cupcakes that I was working on. So these are made on a foam dome. Again, I'll put links below. I think if you've watched quite a few of my videos, you will have seen me use the foam domes quite a bit. It's the same principle as what we were doing with the cake. It's just on a smaller version and there's no cupcake underneath there yet. We would add the cupcake later. So you can make the toppers in advance. Um, you could even make them a few days in advance of the cupcakes if you wanted. So if you pushed for time, then, you know, make these early in advance. Then you're not rushing them last minute. So we're trying to do eyes the same as the cake. It's just they're going to be a little bit smaller. And I think because it's smaller, I'm not going to worry about eyelashes on this one. Can you see on this one, I just stuck some of the little sprinkles around the edge. And I, that's just with water. I just added a little bit of water to my fondant and dipped them in some sprinkles. Just give them some eyebrows, this one. I'm just using an edible black pen for the eyebrows. So I'm going to show you that one from the beginning, or at least another sprout cupcake from the beginning. So... You want a large circle cookie cutter, a little bit bigger than the foam dome. So the purple is my foam dome. The foam dome is not edible, so you do need to remove it from under your fondant when it's had a bit of time to set. So we're gently pushing it around there. I'm going to put those lines on for like the little leaves of the sprout like we did on the big cake. And we're going to do the dusting in exactly the same way. So I've got a nice bright green and then a slightly darker one as well. I'm going to put a bit of both on. Remember, guys, the links to the exact products that I use, if you're wanting to use the same colours, are below the video. So the eyes in the same way. So we've got a circle of white and then we've got a circle of black. Just make sure the black circle is slightly smaller than the white circle for the pupil. And then an even smaller circle of white for the little highlight in the eye. Now, people wanted to see a winking face in the Facebook Live, so do a closed eye. So we're just rolling a piece of black, folding it in half. So it makes like a little... A little arrow kind of shape and we'll point it towards the other eye and let's go nice and simple for the mouth so just gonna go with a little line nice and simple nothing too complicated for this one if you want to add those little sprinkles you can do i just attach them with water but it's up to you so i'm going to do this one some little holly leaves so we've got a teardrop shape that we've flattened with a little line down the middle and of course this just looks like a generic leaf at the moment you can get holly leaf cutters i didn't have one small enough for tiny little holly leaves let's just add a bit of pink to the cheeks while we remember and i've got an oval cutter you can oval or round something fairly small and can you see we're just trying to catch the edge of the leaf sort of taking little curves out so it makes it look more like the shape of a holly leaf and then we can just stick those on with a bit of water and we want some red berries in the middle so i'm using some of that leftover red fondant and the other one you can see just next to it with the closed eyes she's got a red bow on her head that's just covered in the edible glitter as well i used a mold for that bow though and the hat's been set in now a little while well i've been working on those cupcakes so i'm going to cover my board i'm going to go for a darker green we just rolled out a strip that's going to wrap around the cake so you can see wrapping it around it's just going to cover our board now the reason for this is because i want to put some text on i want to put the writing on and i want to use the um like little press plastic things the sweet stamps i think they're called <laughs> i should remember now i use them quite a bit now i'll put links below anyway guys and they push well into fondant so that's why i want to put some fondant on that board we're going to do two pieces of fondant for the legs so roll them fairly narrow she's going to have little spindly spindly legs he or she i don't know if it's a boy or a girl doesn't matter which does it and we're gonna colour some stripes in with an edible pen if you prefer to use fondant and wrap stripes on or stick stripes on that you've rolled out really thin that's absolutely fine I just I quite like using the pens I'm not sure which would have taken me longer to roll them out or to colour them out or to colour them in even shoes we we'll go for two teardrops of red I'm going to place it over the end of that foot and I'm going to curl over the toes so they're more like little elf shoes and then let's go for some leftover sprout colour and we'll just put that around the ankle for the tops of the shoes like so so keeping it simple then we're going to use our little letters to press in now i only get i think one of each letter so sometimes i have to leave a space and use the letter twice i didn't leave enough space for the second p so i had to use a different letter set that had a smaller p 
I put some water in there and what I'm going to do is use those little sprinkles that I've got, those little sugar pearls, and I'm just going to drop them in. Try and fill the letters. Just rub off any extra with your finger, just gently, otherwise you will make a mark in the fondant. So be really gentle when you're doing this bit, guys. Usually I paint them, so this time I thought it would be nice to, to put the pearls in. And just while I remember, let's give her some arms. So it's a little sausage with an end flattened and a little indentation for the thumb. One on each side. I couldn't decide whether it should go on the face, holding the bow tie, but we end up with it out to the side. I'll change it back in a second. Let's finish sticking the pearls in those letters. Just make sure you do let it dry before sort of tipping it up, otherwise those pearls will roll out. Okay. So there it is, all finished. And guys, you can just stick your little sprout topper on. You can do your buttercream much nicer than what I have done. Usually I use a piping bag and I pipe it on nicely, but um, I didn't get one ready at all. And my buttercream had started to go a bit hard because it was quite cold in the room. So that's why it looks a bit messy when I've added it. But yeah, there you go. There's your cake and matching cupcakes. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Do be sure to check out our other Christmas cake videos and we'll see you next week. Bye. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.